Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be, what are you looking at? This video is all going to be about dust and uh, the steps that I take to try and eliminate dust on my negatives when I'm drying them, and also in the dark room when I'm making prints. One of the things you don't want in the dark room when you're printing is this little mutt here, because he's going to have loads of dust on him, isn't he? Scruff bags. He needs a groom. So hello, George. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> So, um, he's gone. Right, uh, so I've got this roll of Ilford Pan F50 that I did intend to do some uh, uh, long exposures down the beach with, but it's raining today, so I'm going to be doing an indoor shoot, uh, some window light shoot on a scene that I've already set up. And the first thing I'm going to do is develop two parts of this film. So I'm going to shoot some of this scene, this window light scene, and uh, cut it out the camera develop it in a complete ray of dust, get it dried, and we'll see what the dust does to the film. Uh, then I'm going to take a few more photographs of the same scene, the prints that I really do want to make, and develop them carefully so that I eliminate all the dust on, on the film. And then we'll go in the dark room and see what we come up with. So this is it, a real simple setup for hopefully what I'm, uh, I'm hoping to be a decent print or a good looking print. I've never put something on a black piece of torn paper and uh, you know, like I just showed you. Um, so I'm also intrigued to see how it's gonna look. I haven't printed this yet, I'm just winging it as I go along. Up here I've got a nice skylight, so it's producing nice window light coming down, uh, nice natural daylight and outside it's sort of um, light overcast. So it's the light's gonna stay the same at least for the next few hours. So the first part of this is just this scene, handheld, I'm gonna burst off a few frames and then I'm gonna cut the film out of the camera and develop it in a real sloppy way, uh, creating a load of dust and then I'll be hanging it out to dry uh, in a dusty environment as well. So then once the film's dried, we can see exactly what dust is gonna be doing to our negatives and not only that, can I get rid of the dust after it's dried? Can I clean the negatives so it's clean again? Um, as I say, I've always worked in a clean environment with my negatives and I, have, I haven't really had a problem with, with dust on my negs, so this is new to me as well. And then after that I'm just going to do a few more uh, frames that I want to keep, so I'll be developing that uh, negative and drying it in, in, in my normal clean way. So um, let's get on with taking the first set of photographs. Okay, so I've changed the camera angle and I've got my light meter and I'm going to need to use that tripod, which my DSLR is sitting on, because my light is telling me I'm going to have to shoot at an eighth of a second because I'm using a 50 speed film. I'm not going to be able to handhold that. So um, I'm going to take these shots and open the video up again when I've got the film inside the tank. So uh, the DSLR is now back on the tripod and the film is still inside the camera ready to take out. Now I'm going to put the first, I've shot four frames there. So I'm going to be putting that strip onto this reel in this developing tank. Now. This is quite clean at the moment, but I'm gonna try and get some dust on this and try and get some dust in here as well. This is real bad. Look at the dust kicking up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can certainly see it with this old T-shirt that's been sitting in the ironing for a few days. We're just really getting some dust on this now. As you can see it all kicking up. This is bad news. And I'm just Pushing this into the dust areas. Now normally I'd make sure that my tank is clean and the reel is clean as well before I'd put my film onto it. Now I don't know if you put your uh, film into the developing tank and it's got dust on as, as this is and whether the chemicals in the water washes it away and after the wash as well. I don't know if the dust still sticks on the film, who knows. But uh, I'm just doing this so we can work in a real messy, a messy way. Um, personally, I reckon the dust only gets on the film once it starts drying and starts attacking them and getting stuck to the emulsion side of it. Right, now I've got a dusty developing tank. Let's get the film inside and develop it. Okay, so I'm back here again and I've just put that initial strip inside the developing tank and I'm developing it in rod and on a stand development. That way I don't waste much developer five millilitres or whatever it is. Um, so the next part now is I've reloaded the uh, Pan F film back in the camera. I'm going to take a few more shots of this and this time I'm going to be developing 
this film in the Kodak D76 that I've got another video on making the powder of. So, um, and this particular film, I'm not going to get any dust inside the tank. I'm going to develop this really carefully. So uh, let's take the DSLR off the tripod, take these shots, get this film into another tank and develop it nice and clean. So this is where I'm going to be drawing my clean film, not clean film, clean film. And uh, I've already developed it, it's fixed, it's sitting down there being washed at the moment and uh, in a couple of minutes I'm going to hang it up there to dry. Now this is ideal for me in this shower room because it's all tiled and uh, you can see I've taken the shower curtain out, that's, that's never there. And the only piece of fabric in this room is on the window which is a small fabric blind. But um, so what I do is when I dry when I dry my films in here, I take all the um, hand towels out. I even take the toilet rolls out, and I leave it for about an hour for the dust to settle. And I'm very careful when I'm in here drying my film because I don't want to get any dust on the emulsion side of my film and and let it dry into that. Uh, I've never had any problems with my negatives in here. So let's get this out of the wash now, hang it up to dry, and then we'll look at the second roll of film, which I'm gonna just dry it in a dusty environment. Okay, there's my film. Just carefully put it on the there. And now just put a peg on to stretch it while it's drying. Now usually this would be a long roll of film but we've only done a few shots. So I'm gonna leave that to dry and then I'm gonna get out of the bathroom nice and slowly Nice and slowly, as not to uh, create any dust anywhere. Turn the light off. And that's it, so that's gonna dry naturally now. I can guarantee there won't be any dust spots on it, or at least I hope there ain't gonna be. And uh, I'm now gonna get the other roll of film out of the rod knoll, which has been stand developing now for just over an hour. And we're gonna hang that one out to dry in a real dusty environment. Okay. So we're going to leave this one to dry. This is the um, stand development that did the first set, and this is the unclean negative. So that's going to sit there to dry now, but before I let it dry, I'm going to create some dust. Now don't try this with any negatives that you cherish and see. Okay, plenty of dust there. So all I need to do now is let both films dry and then we'll have a little look at them after they've dried. And if this one has got, it's going to have dust on the emulsion side and well, both sides, it's going to have dust uh, collected on it. I wonder if we can somehow get that off and also see how the dust uh, affects us when we're trying to print. See you in a short while. Okay, so I'm back in my dark room now and these are the negatives laid out. This is the dusty negative and this is the one that, uh, the clean negative. Uh, now the reason for me doing a clean negative was because I wanted to make a print of that scene, a decent print. So if the dusty one really was screwed up, then I've got this one to fall back on. So I'm gonna put this one away for now and we're just left with the dusty one. So obviously I'm not gonna see anything at the moment because it's quite hard to see like this. So I'm gonna to need to stick it on the light box and get a closer look. And here's the negative here on top of the light box. And do you know what? It doesn't look that bad. I can't actually see any, any marks. This is the emulsion side I'm looking at and I can't see any marks on there at all from any dust whatsoever. So the only way I'm going to be able to see if I've got a problem with this neg is make a print. So I'm just going to give the negative a little wipe over with this soft cloth here. That's the gloss side. Very carefully now onto the emulsion side. Just one wipe over. So now I'm kind of working with my normal routine with this negative, which is uh, giving it a brush once, brush twice on the underside, then using my anti-static brush just to pick up any bits that have fallen onto it, any bits of dust. And that looks very clean. I'm now gonna pop it into the carrier. Just see one little tiny bit of dust on there actually. Mm, it's gone. 
pop it into the carrier and make a print. These are quite handy to have in a dark room. Um, I haven't got one of those electrostatic gun things. I haven't had any, any problem with uh, using this to be honest with you. So the negative is sitting on the enlarger all ready to go and be printed. Uh, I haven't got any paper obviously on here at the moment because all the lights are on. I've uh, done a sharp test and it's all fine and dandy and I'm going to be printing a 10 by 8. Now the idea of printing a 10 by 8 is it's a larger paper so I should be able to see if there's any 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 marks on the negative from the print itself. So um, there's one thing I don't want to do and that's to get any dust on the paper because that's going to start putting me off I'm not going to know which is which so what I generally do is when if I'm doing sometimes doing a longer exposure print on my larger I've noticed sometimes a little tiny hair you know can you've got hairs everywhere and little tiny hairs or a little tiny bit of dust or a bit of dandruff or a bit of skin or whatever can drop onto the paper while you're while you're printing so sometimes when I'm doing a long longer exposure I use a piece of card and as I'm projecting the uh, negative image onto the paper I'll just waft the card just like this in hope that it will blow any little pieces off the paper while it's um, being projected just like that so I've just finished the printing session and uh, I've, I suppose I've been in there about half an hour just just doing this uh, test print and then a final 10 by 8 and I was really surprised I've um, <laughs> that that's the first print that I did and uh, you can see there's one tiny little mark, one tiny little dust particle on there. And I wasn't sure if that was on the negative or not. So what I did, I took the negative out, I just gave it a quick dust off with the anti-static brush and I put this tiny small piece over that mark and, uh, and did a redevelopment of this and uh, lo and behold, the dust particle had gone. So it wasn't actually stuck on the emulsion of the film, it, it just got on there during the printing session. And um, yeah, I, I was completely blown away. I really did think that that negative would have had just dust stuck to it all over the place, but it didn't. So the only trouble with this composition and the scene that I shot is you've got a lot of white around here. Now any dust sitting on the negative from the drying process is going to show. It's not going to show up. Sorry, on on the white. It's going to show up on black because obviously it's masking that part of the negative. Um, so what I did do is took a thin part of the film, of that strip that I put in, and the, and, and the thin part of the uh, of the dusty process, and uh, which is where I marked D for dust, and I I did a black print of that. I just put it on the enlarger and projected the light onto it, and lo and behold, there's no dust marks on that either. So um, I'm really surprised. I really did think that I would get dust sticking to the negative and also dust that I could wipe away, but dust that I couldn't wipe away, it was stuck there forever, hidden inside the emulsion. So yeah, the idea of this film, guys, is just a, you know, what if I developed uh, film and dried film in a dusty environment and nothing's happened, but that's not to say it won't happen next time. So I'm gonna carry on developing as clean as I can and printing as clean as I can as well. And I wouldn't recommend uh, dry, hanging, your, hanging your film out to dry amongst clothes and in a dusty environment. Always try and be as clean as you can with, with whatever you've got around you. But I certainly wouldn't risk doing it on any photographs that I cherish or any photographs that I want to keep because the chances are next time the dust's going to sit in the emulsion and I'll never be able to get it out and it'll be ruined. I've thrown this negative strip away now and I'm going to stay in the dark room for another probably another couple of hours trying to work on this print from the clean negatives that I did in the bathroom earlier on. Anyway guys, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel, like it and uh, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>